So today we're showcasing two of the top liberal arts colleges in the nation and they happen to be close to us. The College of St. Benedict and St. John's University in central Minnesota. CSB SJU, there are two campuses that share a one of a kind integrated partnership. The schools combine top tier academic programs and experiential learning in a fun college town atmosphere. And get this you guys, two of our staff members, Mandy Toddick cute. and Kristen Habrick. Oh my gosh, so cute. They're very proud alumni and they play tour guide and give us a look around campus. It is so great to be back here on campus. I graduated 16 years ago and this place will forever hold a special spot in my heart. So Mandy, for you, during your time here at St. Ben's and St. John's, what made the biggest impression on you? Yeah, I mean, it's been 20 years. I was just thinking of that and I was like driving up here and I'm like, oh my gosh, I still get like teary and like butterflies when I get off of 94. I came here to visit and I just felt so welcomed by everybody. I remember our tour guide, I was like, oh my gosh, she's so sweet. Everybody was so friendly. Even my mom came, we left that day and she was like, I want to go to St. Ben's. <laughs> so I think it was just the community. I mean, like the people here, um, the leadership opportunities for women. There was just so many things. I also really wanted to study abroad in Australia and they had that program. So oh, that was a big factor for me big too. Plus. Yeah. yeah. Going off of that for me, I would also say that sense of community. Uh, I appreciated the small class sizes. There's an average of about 19 students per class here. And that really allows you to get to know everyone. So I gained lifelong friends that I'm still close with to this day. I also think a big plus is that students have access to resources on both campuses. Yep. I mean, that is huge. For me, uh, I took great pride in being a collegiate athlete here. I was active on the cross country and track and field team. Now, mind you, this is Division Three. We're not a D1 school, but I saw that as a plus because it allowed me to have a more well-rounded experience and do other involvements. Um, I had a music scholarship. I played my clarinet here and was active in the wind ensemble. And so I did appreciate that you could be involved in a bunch of different things and still get all your schoolwork done. Yeah, and you still had time for social time and friends because like you said, like it was prioritizing that school first, but also getting involved on campus and really like making, like you said, lifelong friendship. Oh my gosh, is that Kristen Halbrick? Coach Robin! <laughs> oh my god! Oh yes. my goodness, it's so good to see you. Good to see you. Coach Robin has been coaching here for 28 years. So I have to know, if you were to pick a favorite memory from our time together, what would that be? Well, Kristen, there are several memories to pick from. But I would say my favorite uh, was the day before Regents, mm -hmm. we were getting ready for practice and wondering where you were. And we're waiting and waiting and all of a sudden I hear a horn honking and around the corner comes a leopard print <laughs> scooter, scooter <laughs> with a horn and pink streamers and it's Kristen in a wig. <laughs> it's Regent weekend! And she was just cheering and Pumping it was everybody. everybody. Up. <laughs> she was a hype woman that day. <laughs> Now we are about to meet some royalty. CSB SJU President Brian, along with his wife, First Lady Carol, live right here, along with their adorable 96 pound Bernadoodle. Say hello to George. He is so cute. <laughs> And I understand he's a certified therapy dog. He is, he is. So George was certified when he was two with oh. Pet Partners International. The students love George. I mean, especially around finals time oh. when you need those puppy cuddles right? and pets. And he just comes up to students, he leans in. Like, he'll, he's leaning on yes. your leg right now. because He's so he energetic. Just, he loves humans. So I have to ask, uh, what drew you to the College of St. Benedict and St. John's University? Why did you and your husband want to be leaders here? Oh, we just love it so much. <laughs> you know, we lived in Minnesota 23 years. We were in the Twin Cities, Brian at St. Kate's, me at St. Thomas. We were always envious of this magic. It's so gorgeous and up here. I know. So they came, you know, calling and recruiting, and we were like, oh my gosh, we've always admired these places. So we love it. Wow. Couldn't be happier. The students love having you here, too. Oh, uh, we And just, George. <laughs> I mean, George is the superstar. <laughs> We are out for a stroll in downtown St. Joseph, the town in which St. Ben's is located. 
And I have to say, I barely recognize the place. I know. In a good way. It's, it's thriving. It's so crazy. They've got boutiques, they've got gift shops, they've got fancy restaurants. Yeah. I recently did a story on Jupiter Moon ice cream, and Bella Cocino is like some of the best Italian food I've had. Yeah, I think they were rated as one of Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine's best restaurants in the state. Wow. Which is like crazy in Little St. Joe. Right but yeah. So lots of good stuff. It's such a cute little town. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really like small I town America to here. Growing. Yeah. And get your stuff for game day. Right. We've made our way over to St. John's University here in Collegeville. Now this campus is about six miles away from St. Ben's and there's a convenient bus system called the Link which gets students to and from each spot. The good old Link. Yeah, the, the link. link. But we're here at the St. John's football stadium. Go Johnnies. Yep. <laughs> I forgot my jersey but Kristen's always ready. And I got to tell you on game day this place the atmosphere is absolutely electric. A sea of red and they're rated as one of the top football programs in the state. Yeah, and it's one of the best places to watch a football game. I mean, it, it's like anything else. Like, we're in like a natural bowl here, mm -hmm. and it gets loud, and it's tons of school spirit, and it just, there's nothing better than Johnny football on a Saturday. Oh, yeah. Another perk here is this, the gorgeous Lake Sag. If you're ever feeling overwhelmed with your class load, with finals coming up, how nice that you can just walk steps away and you've got your own beach and you can just take in all the serene nature. It's just gorgeous. I mean, 3,300 acres between the two campuses. So you can get out and you can explore. I mean, I think we kind of took this for granted though. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, I want to come back. I know, can we come back? Do it can again. we come back to college, please? Cannonball off the dock? Uh, you can do that, Kristen. Okay, you go for it. Well, it's been so fun to reminisce about our college days. I feel like however many years pass, this place will always feel like home. I know, and that's the best part. You come in and you're like just right back in college, so it's just such a special place. That, I want to go back to college. Awesome. I know, and I kind of want to go there. I kind of yeah. want you guys to have had that experience with wow, me. Wow, that campus is gorgeous. It was really a magical time there. So, oh, And you had great God. weather and yes, everything. Yes, the sun yeah. was shining. I brought you guys some Johnny bread. Okay, what's I would love Johnny for you bread? to try it. Okay, so it's I'm a hearty bread that was a staple of the Johnny diet dating back to the mid-1800s. And there's quite a story with so it. Soft. So the story goes that the German monks who founded the university used rye flour. Mm. But in America, they found that wheat was plentiful. Mm. And so somewhere along the way, one of the monks, Brother Wolfgang Beck, decided to mix the two flours together for that distinctive taste. And the way that they cook it is also, the bake it is also unique. They have a uh, cornmeal around it on an open shelf in mm. the oven. So you've got that like crunchy outside, but yeah. soft inside. And nowadays students help make the bread, not the monks, oh. and they'll ship it all across the country. But if you think about it for the Johnny's and Benny's, I mean, generations of yeah. students that went there and now have that Benny synonymous taste. It's fantastic. I There's like a- way too big of a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep chewing. I there, can... There is like a density, but a lightness mm. to the whole bread. I mean, yeah. it's great. And then like this little pat of butter, it's just fantastic. Good and, stuff. And that's where your love of costumes came to be. You know, not gonna lie, I did have mannequin heads in my dorm room <laughs> um, with wigs. Uh, this was a fun, we do every year a four by two costume relay in track. So I'm Goldilocks. I've got the three bears yes, that were chasing course. after me. Uh, also, nuns. <laughs> I had a stress fracture, so we worked around it by putting me in a wheelchair, oh <laughs> popping wheelies over there. Gosh, Kristen. Uh, but just, just nonstop fun. I'm so grateful for all the memories. And if you have anyone in your life, your family, who's looking at college down we've the got, road. We've got yep. uh, college-bound kids. Mm -hmm. yep. They offer student-led tours, which are really fun, where mm -hmm. they offer lunch on them. Um, you can sign up and check out both campuses. This is yeah. fun. That was fun to see job. you guys go back in yeah. time. Yeah. Thank you very so much. Thanks, Kristen. To learn more, you can book a campus tour. Go to TwinCitiesLive.com.